This section heading is called Configuring the Syslog Client. So now that we have Snort installed on this device, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually configure it to send the alert messages to the local syslog service. We're then going to configure that service to forward those messages off to a syslog server, which is going to reside over here at yourbank.com. So now when doing any sort of configuration, you're always, or you should always, follow best practices. So now for a second here, I'm going to go over to this best practices um, kind of section on here that I've added. So we're going to be following these best practices when doing our configuration. So logs should be sent, sent to a centralized location. So we're going to have Snort. It's going to send alert messages to Syslog. Syslog on the local system is going to send it to a centralized location over here, which is going to be yourbank.com. Within Snort, we're going to ensure that logging level 7 is going to be avoided. We're going to create our log file based on category. So for example, over here, we're going to have IDS. That will be our category. And then later on in another section within this lab, we're going to synchronize this device as well as the syslog server to an NTP server within the Eurobank DMZ. So now when configuring syslog, there's a couple things you need to be aware of. So with Snort, we have this concept of facility and priority. So your facility, what this is, it's basically just like an identifier for the service. So over here we've got some kind of character's name or you know, name and a number. But again, it's just an identifier for a particular service. And then over here we have priority. So priority is just like it sounds. This is how important are the messages that we're getting from that service. So we can rank them over here. So we can see over here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0 through 7, right? So we should avoid 7, and what we're going to find is we're actually going to um, set the priority at a log alert. So we're not going to log anything below it. We're going to log everything above it. So we're just logging essentially uh, 0 and 1. So now when doing all of this stuff, we're going to do it from Alice. So I'm going to click on Alice. Over here, we completed the installation of Snort. So the first thing that I'm having you do within here is I'm going to have you take a look and see how Snort is actually, if it's using syslog or not. And what you're going to find is that it's not. It's disabled by default. So to view this within Snort's configuration file, we're going to type a sudo sed dash n, and the lines within the configuration file is 477 to 478. So Etsy snort, and then snort.conf. And what's the unknown expression? Ah, need a comma right here. There we go. OK. So we can see over here, this is the section within Snort's configuration file. That's for syslog. This would be the default entry if we uncommented it, OK? And this would enable Snort to send its alert messages to the local syslog service. Now, over here, we have facility and we have priority. So by default, Snort is kind of following that best practice to kind of um, slim down the amount of messages that you're sending in. The, um, like I said, the priority. So we've got only uh, level zero and one that are going to be logged using the facility. Now we have to change the facility. And again, this is just an identifier to signify that it's snort. We're going to change this to log local five. The reason for that, as we'll see in a moment, is because our local syslog service is already relating this identifier to another service or services on the system. So now we're going to be following documentation once again when changing this. If you look in syslog's documentation, it's going to recommend that you change it to something like log local 5, which they are recommending you know, a certain range for networking equipment. So now to uncomment this and to change this, we're going to use said once again. So I'm going to hit the up arrow key here, and now I'm going to come down here, and what we want to do 
is we want to edit the in place file and then we want to on line 478 we want to cut what's on there and we want to replace it with the following so rather than typing all of this out I'm just going to highlight this copy paste backspace change this to local 5 press enter up arrow key two times and we can see that we're good so now the syslog service um, is uncommented so now what we're going to do is we're going to verify that the configuration changes that we made within the file are all good so to do this we're going to type sudo snort dash c we want to provide the path to the configuration file and then we want to add the dash t option for testing it so we can see over here the file um, exited successfully so we don't see any errors so therefore we know that what we entered in was the syntax was correct so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the local syslog service. So we're going to do tail dash four inside of Etsy our syslog conf. And what we're looking at inside of here is we're seeing that we're using this include statement within the syslog configuration file. And this is going to include essentially all of the files, all of the configuration files within this directory right here. So one such configuration file within there is going to have kind of like a bunch of default rules within the file. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a rule. So we're going to type sudo nano into Etsy, our syslog, where did my, there we go, our syslog conf, Sorry, we want our syslog D, and then it's 50.conf, default.conf. So within here, you can see that this kind of is not following the best practice where it's um, kind of categorizing everything out. It's got a couple things on here, and, and technically with this um, bare bones system, there's not a lot of stuff running on it. Um, but what you'll notice here is the local, and this is you know where most people check anyways, the local syslog file or messages file on the system. So you can see over here star dot star, basically everything we've got auth and priority, um, auth priv, you know, a couple others going over to here. Um, these other ones are commented out. But what we're going to do here is we're not going to allow them to be logged down here. We're going to send them to, again, a centralized server, which is going to be yourbank.com. So to do this, we're going to type local5. So this is when, when syslog receives something by local5. Eesh, come on. Local5.alert. So we've got local5, and it has to be uh, at least an alert. So again, it's facility priority right so if we get something from local 5 and it's of the priority alert or higher then we're going to send it over to yourbank.com we're going to add a ampersand tilde over here to ensure that the log files don't kind of bleed down into these files down here so we're going to do a control x y to save hit enter all right so now we're going to test that the configuration that we added to that file, that the syntax was correct. So now we're going to type par syslog and dash n1. And once again, we reach the end of the file without hitting any errors or having any errors displayed on the screen. So therefore, we know that what we entered in was good. So now we're going to read in the changes. So sudo service our syslog. restart. All right, so we're good.